Hello, welcome to Productronica 2017. Here with me at the EPP booth is Thorsten Teutsch, CEO with PacTech. Um, could you describe in a few sentences what your company is doing and uh, which uh, technologies you are offering? Yes, uh, so PacTech is uh, working in the field of uh, advanced packaging. Uh, we have uh, three business units. One is uh, uh, distributing chemistry and the core units are basically one is an equipment uh, uh, a business man, uh, unit which manufactures uh, equipment for advanced packaging. Uh, mainly uh, we are known about for a solder jetting machines so we're using a laser to heat solder balls and then jet them out to make connections okay. either bump connections or 3d interconnections the other business unit is focusing on subcon uh, services so we are offering wafer bumping low cost wafer bumping services and now are venturing also a little bit in uh, complete packaging solutions for the electronics industry uh, what n news uh, are you announcing uh, at, at Productronica 2017? So for the equipment business unit we have our newest uh, manufacturing machine for high volume manufacturing for camera modules. So here we're using our solder jetting technology uh, to uh, uh, connect uh, the VCN shielding of a camera module uh, uh, to, uh, to the housing. And, uh, and, and this uh, is, is a new technology which uh, is just uh, replacing since maybe a year or two uh, conventional technologies like uh, soldering uh, or, uh, or uh, via soldering. Uh, and here we have now machines in the field which can do a very high UPH for very complex uh, camera modules. For example, we can run a 2-pin camera module uh, with a UPH of 4000 or a 16-pin double-sided or three-sided camera module with a UPH of 1300, which is uh, here we are the first in the field which can offer such high manufacturing throughput at, of course, high yields. Uh, regarding your equipment technologies, where do you see future markets or applications? I see it mainly in, in the component uh, assembly and component soldering. We see, uh, for example, we are long-term uh, supplier for the hardest drive industry, which is of course an industry which is not uh, has a very promising future as a magnetic storage, but here we are handling uh, 40 micrometer small solar spheres uh, to make really very small micro contacts and so far the industry is by the way not dead and it's ordering machines from us and uh, continues with the uh, server and uh, the cloud business to, uh, to still innovate. Uh, but uh, we are also in the more SMT uh, type of uh, of manufacturing here we are replacing like I said before conventional uh, soldering methods and as the components getting smaller and the integration in thickness and in size gets smaller and smaller then uh, we will get more and more customers coming to our automation concepts of laser soldering so basically not so much bumping it's more 3d soldering that means 3d interconnections of modules uh, module assembly uh, if you want to here a couple of applications, camera module we are in at the moment, uh, facial recognition sensors uh, is uh, a future application, we see, but we see also for microphones and speakers, uh, coil soldering, all of this getting smaller and smaller and miniaturization, so they need new uh, uh, technologies to get the solder at this very, very small interconnections. And our technology is also fluxless, so optical components, for example, will also like this technology because it's not contaminating the, uh, the optical device. Uh, the same question, future markets and applications <laughs> regarding your wafer level packaging subcon yeah. activities? So we have also added in this business unit new technology, so we are uh, presenting at this show our new line for electroplating. Uh, this is state-of-the-art technology, so nothing new in the market. We are doing now electroplating of copper pillars and copper RDL. Uh, redistribution. Uh, with this, tech, this technology we are combining now with our low-cost electro-less nickel uh, plating 
and so we can offer new uh, kind of interconnection and bump concepts. But the ultimate goal is to go more into a package development. So our goals are to work more in the field of uh, uh, fan out uh, uh, packaging, but also glass interposer. So these are the areas we are now uh, developing new process technologies and together with our <coughs> partner company of Nagase, which is a material company which owns Pactech since a couple of years. We are also developing the, uh, 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 the uh, sorry, no, um, the, uh, uh, the materials which are uh, compatible to our technologies or in the other way around we are also developing uh, uh, technology, process technology which is compatible to the Nagasa materials uh, lineup. So a, a more broader lineup of uh, technologies, material and process technologies to drive uh, new package development. Okay, thank you for this interview. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.